Hello, my name is Nick O'Neillio. I work for Phase One Industrial here in our Broomfield, Colorado office. I handle and manage and take on all inquiries regarding our IXM line of cameras that can be fully integrated onto unmanned aerial vehicles. Today, I want to explore our IX Capture Mobile app. IX Capture Mobile is an aerial photography app from Phase One that allows you to control remotely your IXM camera connected to an unmanned aerial vehicle. Let's go ahead and dive in to IX Capture Mobile. We'll notice here in the next couple of seconds, we have integrated our IXM 100 aboard our very own M600 aircraft we have here at phase one. So let's dive in. Uh, this first tab here is the HDMI tab, as you will see. I have my HDMI on. You can see the direct link, which what you're looking at here, the bottom left um, above our ISO aperture and shutter um, adjustments we can make. Again, giving us that remote focus is our RGB histogram. That's a key note to keep an eye on um, as a camera operator. Um, you will notice we can decrease and increase our app ISO, which what I'm doing here, our shutters, which I am decreasing, increasing there, and our aperture, we can rise. You can hear those clicks. Each one is increasing our aperture. Again, it's a little dark, so I'm gonna come back to the 5.6 that I had it at. And then the bottom right is, of course, our trigger, our capture, and if you would like to see that in here, three, two, one, we have just took an image. Um, now, going off of that, you'll notice within our tab on the right, we have an IXM100 with the RSN 35mm lens, and you'll notice the storage card is at 149 right now, but if I take one more picture, we go down to 148. That is our basically our storage capacity aboard the aircraft. The check mark is how many images are on the card currently. Um, going down, HDMI again, we're on there. We have our focus. You can enter in manually what your focus per meter you would like to set that at. Um, going across, you have your course, you have your medium, and your fine focus peaking. Um, focus peaking, you can turn that on or off. The threshold, we can go down and increase. HDMI overlay on and off there. Transparency, preview, small, large, as far as your format image size capability there. Let's go over to our camera tab. Within the camera tab, we can do auto exposure. That's gonna basically adjust for us and that's making its own reading off of the auto exposure within the room I am filming this on. Let me go back and turn these settings back to what we had it at. Let me bring the shutter down so I can come back to life. And these are things you can do in the field, guys. So just always remember that you're able to do this remote focus from the field. Going back to the camera tab, auto capture, you'll notice we'll get a click to start. So we took a picture and now we're gonna be in flight auto capturing um, per our settings within here. Within the distance tab below auto capture, you can enter in your distance, how fast you're wanting to fly at, the time intervals, the time you can auto or manually enter those in 18 let's do 14 point excuse me 14.5 those are just some key functionalities within the camera tab the geotagging we are connected uh with to our planix apx 15 but again we i know many folks use novatel the vector navs of the world so you have your choices there last but not least let's click on our storage tab again this is for our xqd card in our camera, we have 28 gig available, 17 gig, um, 828 capacity, excuse me. So that is all um, within our IX Capsule mobile app. And at the top, you'll notice our phase one logo with our connection to the aircraft, our battery levels on the top right. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me in a dive into IX Capture mobile. Thank you.